Hey, this is Steve for MyOtherCareer.wordpress.com and today I wanted to show you something. That is this. First draft, well not the first draft, but I completed the words on paper draft of Serve Cold last night. And I feel good about it. It was, it was really good to write this. Right there. Fade out on that final page. I just barely got onto the 116th page. Um, I'd like to get this down ideally to under 110, somewhere around the 105 range. Uh, I'm not sure how possible that'll be yet. But I'm not done with the Surf Cold Challenge yet. I finished the words on paper draft. What that is, is kind of, you've, uh, how can I let's see, use some kind of metaphor? You've, you've written the story and you've written the final page, but it is not a complete draft until you can go through it, check for spelling errors, grammar errors, uh, miscellaneous and minor changes. Not a, not, not a heavy rewrite. You save that for the second draft, but before I consider this a completed draft, I need to go through it at least once with my red pen. Look for spelling, grammar, characters that aren't uh, all capitalized when they're first introduced, make sure slug lines and description lines are all and are all, uh, they all match, that I'm not shifting the name of a location between different scenes and different parts of the screenplay. Those are the types of things I'm going to be looking for. Real topographical, real superficial type of, type of changes. Um, I'm not going to be tinkering with, with dialogue unless I just need to strip out a word here or there, or correct a spelling error, or uh, other little miscellaneous things like that. But for all intents and purposes, the story is finished. Now, I have until the 25th, and today is the 15th, to finish the cervical challenge. So I've got to get the words on paper draft marked up, and then I have to type all the corrections before, before I'm done, before I've, I've hit my deadline, so to speak. So I'm going to be busy over the next couple of days doing that. Reading a screenplay, I'm, I'm not sure how many, out there, how many of you out there have read a screenplay before. Um, I have a link to the Children of Men screenplay on one of my posts on my blog. And if you've never read, read a screenplay before, I would encourage you to check that post out, download it, and read that. Uh, it is a phenomenal example of a screenplay. It will give you the best example I can think of off the top of my head. I've got The Devil Wears Prada on here, too. Um, check that out if you want, you know, if you're into more of a romantic comedy, although I don't really consider Devil Wears Prada romantic comedy. It's, it's kind of a drama comedy. It's not really a chick flick, contrary to what the subject matter may make you think. But either of those scripts is a good example. Um, and you'll see that you read through it about a page a minute, just like you would watch in a movie. Uh, some sections will be slower, some sections will be faster, depending on how much white space is on the page. Uh, let's see if I can find a good example. For example, a lot of white space on this page. You know, on, on the sides, it's almost all dialogue. That's going to read faster than, say, let's find a real heavy action sequence. Um, Probably should have had these set out ahead of time. Don't have anything here. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is really uh, really a lot of fun for you guys to watch, right? Okay, that's going to read faster than say a page like this. You can see I've got a lot of a lot of action on there, a lot of description. So it's going to vary, but but you should be able to get through a 120 page screenplay in about two hours. Uh, two glasses of wine, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm going to go and, and read through this. You know, mark it up. Maybe I'll get to finish it tonight, maybe tomorrow. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to read or not tonight. I got The Untouchables on Blu-ray, and I haven't seen that movie in a long time. And I, I got it from Amazon. Uh, I got in the mail today, so I, I really want to want to watch that movie tonight. Uh, it's one of my favorites, so I'm going to check that out. But um, I've got till the 25th to get this marked up and and uh, make revisions and have a completed first draft. And then, and then I'll post that up as, in whole to the blog when I'm done, so if anybody wants to take a look. Um, and see what an amateur writer stuff looks like. You know, the, the important part of what I wanted to show was that you don't always get to, you're not always able to write every night. You know, sometimes you just can't get into the groove, sometimes you have a headache, sometimes you're tired, but it's those baby steps that will get you across that finish line. And, and if you set a soft deadline for yourself or a hard deadline and, and just work towards that incrementally and, and you come back at it every night, uh, you'll get to the end and you'll finish that screenplay because if I can write, I'm just some dude with an English degree who works in IT, you can write too and, and you can finish that screenplay and you know if, if I can get more people writing, you know maybe somebody who could turn out to be the next Steven Spielberg will one day get it and make it and, and they never thought of writing a screenplay and they did and thank God all of us, you know, we get to see a great movie. You know, that's ideally I just want as many people writing as possible because there's a lot of good writers out there who don't know it and you never know until you try. And if you're scared to try, you're not going to get there. So 
if I can help you try, then I've done my job. So if you have any questions, you can email me. I'll, I'll give you what you can or point you to a resource that can explain things a lot better than I can. Um, I've just started to get active in TriggerStreet.com again. If you've never been to TriggerStreet.com, it is something that was set up by Kevin Spacey. I think it was a production studio him and some friends started. I'm not entirely certain on the whole backstory. But they deal with short stories and screenplays and short films and all sorts of stuff. Uh, message boards all over the place. You can you can have other writers review your stuff. You can review other people's writers. It's a real good forum for for any type of writing where you, where you want some good constructive feedback and to have some people take a look, both professionals and amateurs alike. Um, I've been getting real active on there again. So um, check that out if you haven't. Uh, it's a good resource uh, to get into if you're an aspiring screenwriter and you don't know where to look. So all right, until next time, this is Steve from MyOtherCareer.wordpress.com. Keep writing.